Hi everyone, welcome to Ra Online. I am Dr. Priyadarshini Shanmugam, Professor of Microbiology from a teaching medical college. And uh, today's topic will be on emerging and uh, re-emerging infections. Okay. See, all of you would have read about uh, SARS and then previously H1N1 and Nipah virus and all that. So, today in today's lecture, we will be seeing about the reasons for emerging and so on. So, the objectives of today's lecture will be First, we will be seeing a few definitions of emerging and re-emerging infections. Then what are the factors that contribute to the emergence of infections? How new infections emerge or new infectious agents emerge? Then a few examples of emerging infectious diseases. Then we will see in detail a case study on SARS-CoV-2, Nipah virus and H1N1 virus. And then what we can do to prevent, prevention may not be absolutely possible or how we can control this infection. So, before going on to the emerging infections, we, I just want you to know about the global burden of infectious diseases. So, in the world, almost around 57 million deaths occur every year. And among these 57 million deaths, more than 25 percent, that is one fourth, one chunk of this, around 15 million are due to infectious diseases. So, this slide I have put for, to, for you to know how important it is that we have to prevent and control the infectious diseases as well as their spread. As you can see, among the infectious diseases itself, the maximum deaths are due to respiratory infections, HIV and AIDS, okay, diarrheal diseases, this is mainly in the tropical and developing countries, uh, tuberculosis, so many vaccine preventable childhood infections, malaria, sexually transmitted infections, meningitis, hepatitis, okay various other tropical parasitic diseases, dengue. So, all these only form the full total of the 15 million infectious diseases which, which cause deaths. Apart from this, there are also people who get the disease, who suffer from the disease. There is no mortality. So, we have to give a lot of importance to these infectious diseases. Now, having said that, what are these emerging infections? In 2007 itself, WHO, the World Health Organization, sounded an alarm bell. It was telling that a lot of infectious diseases are emerging at a rate, that is at a high rate, which was not there before. And this was this warning was sounded in 2007. Why WHO sounded the warning? Because from 1970s itself, if you see, that means from 1970s, means almost 40, 50 years ago, slowly, a lot of new infections have been discovered. Around 40 infectious diseases have suddenly been discovered since the 1970s. Okay, It could be because of more incidents because we are able to diagnose these infections better nowadays. We have diagnostic proof. And all these infections, okay, more than 40 infectious diseases have been discovered. A few examples are this human immunodeficiency virus which was discovered in 1980s. Then you have SARS, Ebola and then avian flu and swine flu. All these pathogenic diseases which are a high threat, we all know how much of a threat all these viruses are. They have increased globally in the recent years. So, because the WHO has warned the trends and one more thing WHO had said as the main reason is that people, uh, we are traveling more frequently nowadays, isn't it? And we travel greater distances than in the past because the connectivity is much better nowadays, either through air or rail or road or sea. So, because of that, the diseases spread rapidly and can cause global epidemics. And one more thing that they have noticed is more than 75 percent of the recently emerged infections which affect human beings have got a zoonotic origin. That means they come from animals. Okay. So, in this slide, I have put up a few articles which are showing how many infections have emerged in the past few years. So, here this article talks about a Nipah virus outbreak in Kerala. Here you have a resurgence of Ebola virus in an African country and then this is about influenza and this is about cryptosporidiosis. So, we will be wondering what are emerging diseases Okay, and see here again emergence of this is another type of uh, emerging infection that is drug resistance pathogens emerging Okay, from the drug sensitive pathogens. Then, so, so many articles are there, okay, research articles and review articles are there on these infectious diseases which are emerging. So, now let us see what are emerging infections or emerging infectious diseases. In short, they are called as EIDs. These are infections which recently appeared in the population 
and their incidence that means new number of new cases okay is increased so one either their incidence is increased or two the geographic range that means previously it will be occurring in one particular geographic area but when it spreads to other areas okay and then the number of cases is rapidly increasing or it threatens to increase shortly means that is called as an emerging infectious disease so it has to be recently appeared in a population the number of new cases is suddenly increasing or the geographic range of this infection is suddenly increasing in these conditions it is called as an emerging infectious disease okay